New video today shows us just what it was like to drive on Highway 22 as that fire was still burning. This was on Tuesday in the town of Gates and you can see many buildings burning. As Erica said, we haven't gotten a really good look at just how much damage has been done in the Santa Ana Canyon because it's still too dangerous to get back in. We did talk to one man tonight who says his home is gone. He and other evacuees are getting some help through this tough time. Reporter Katie Eastman is in Corvallis with their story. When tens of thousands of people can't be at home, they fill the Red Cross shelter, sleep in their cars, and come to places like this, the Super 8 in Corvallis. It's not the sort of place that makes a driver slow down and look. The sign doesn't brag about anything beyond the ordinary. And then they sent us here because all the hotels in Salem were full. But ordinary in Oregon, even at the Super 8 Motel. It's a terrifying time right now. It's hard to find. We, I don't know what's going to come next is what it feels like very much so. Grace Kelly came from the coast when the Echo Mountain fire threatened her home. This was taken the morning after. Robert Hudson came from Lyons. And you can still see the smoke around. He says the Santee Am fire destroyed his home. I grabbed a bag and all I did was stuff a handful of socks and a couple of shirts in it and that was it. <laughs> and, and everything I've ever owned, uh, all my memories, stuff from my family is just all gone. And a motel isn't the place he expected to get any of it back. And she's just been amazing. We, there's supplies for um, all of us. Over here we have toys, coloring books, baby food. Uh, Keisha Mills asked for donations on Facebook. Over here we have um, toiletries. It's not a part of her normal job as a maintenance worker. A lot of the times it's bathroom issues. But Keisha knows what it's like when normalcy stops. Um, well, I'm a recovering addict. I have almost three years clean and so I was uh, I was homeless and I did have nothing at one point in my life and um, I actually moved to Corvallis to get better and this town um, gave me a second chance at a really good life. A life with a job that some might find mundane, but sometimes ordinary is what people need when everything else isn't. The Red Cross doesn't have numbers broken down by location. They just know they are helping thousands of people across the state right now, and they'll continue that help indefinitely. In Corvallis, Katie Eastman, KGW News. We don't have